Let's, uh... Uh, let me see that. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm not sure if that uh, the, the beginning part went through, but we're going to be looking at uh, Dustin, Justin McFetridge here. You know, um, he was caught in the, uh, not the Georgia sting. Fuck, the Bowling Green, Kentucky sting. So, I haven't watched this in in quite a while. All, the, all that's really coming to mind uh, when I think about Dustin here up top is the Dudinsky interview, which I do want to do that at some point. Um, he wanted, he wanted um, the girl to wear her panties for several days and send them to him. And then my favorite part, and the part that I quote the most, uh, when Dustin is leaving the sting house, the police officer goes, Dustin, take a step outside. Take a step outside. And then Dustin goes, okay. <laughs> I, I love that part. So, uh, yeah, without, uh, without further ado, you know, let's, let's get into it. That's him coming at you. Yep, I see him. He would have a cane. He has cerebral palsy. No, you come in. All he right. drove up as close as he could to the door so he didn't have to walk as far because he has the cane. I told him to come on inside and he finally agreed. Meet does. All right. So, you know, <laughs> we, we all we all got to talk about it. I guess up top, I should say, you know, he's got cerebral palsy. Doesn't have anything to do. I don't think anybody really defends him um, uh, because of his disability. I haven't ever seen it, but... You know, it's no defense. He knows what he's doing is wrong. Uh, if you read the chat log, it's really fucking disgusting. I, I haven't, again, I haven't, uh, you know, examined Dustin too closely recently. But, also, yeah, he wanted to have sex with her eight-year-old sister, too. And he just wanted some, like, really, really disgusting things. Um, and he knew what he was doing. He tried to hide it. Um, I think he's he he has um, CSAM on his computer, as comes out in the, in the John Dudinsky, Dustin McFetridge, Dustin Justin McFetridge interview. So, yeah, he, he's a horrible person, and his disability doesn't, uh, doesn't have any bearing. I'm, I'm not gonna take it easy on him. Nobody should. He knows what he's doing is wrong. He's a bad person, and it's, you know, the worst crime of all. He's driving a purple PT Cruiser, a bluish purple PT Cruiser, which I think is in his, his mom's name. Um, he's living with his mom and her, her, his stepfather. Well, maybe her boyfriend. Something, something. And he's got two rooms. You know, I'm. I just. Ha I have half remembering the John Dudinsky interview. Let's let's keep going. Here. McFetridge. He's 26 years old, divorced, suffers from cerebral palsy, oh, and Jesus. collects social security benefits. He's driven. All right. So he's unemployed, and he used to. He used to be married. I wonder if he was employed when he was married. Because I really picture Dustin as, you know, a prototypical, uh, you know, basement dweller, right? The kind of guy who fucking sits in his mom's basement. He's got the two rooms, you know, one for jerking off and one for playing his video games and drinking Mountain Dew. So I, I can't imagine him being married. I can't imagine, you know, I can't imagine him being a good husband. And I can't imagine him smelling good. Unrelated, but I thought I'd bring it up. You just, I, oh, you know, I, it doesn't smell good. How many, how many filet fish wrappers are here in the passenger seat, do you think? Let me, let me know. Because I'm guessing, you know, plus over under 12 and a half. I'm guessing over. I'm guessing somewhere in the 17 range. And a lot of filet fishes Dustin is going through. Five hours to have sex with a girl posing as a 13-year-old. As you'll find out, this isn't his first time chatting inappropriately with a minor. Mm -hmm. Our decoy Casey starts to feel sorry for him as she watches him struggle to get out of the car. But then she remembers what he'd been... Um, is this a Christmas tree? Uh, completely unrelated. Oh, this was around um, Halloween, right? This was because uh, Lauren got caught on his birthday, October 19th, I think, so... I guess it's just a pine tree. Never mind. And saying online. When you listen to him talking, he really is no different. He still is wanting to have sex with a little girl. Using the screen name Wrestling <laughs> Look at this picture. Oh, I'm always amazed, you know, at the uh, at the profile pictures that these guys go through. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going through a bunch more, but it's it's never it, it, you know it never gets any better than this. Is this? His profile picture? I guess, you know, we could question whether or not it's his profile picture or whether or not perverted justice 
just chose to use it um, here. But yeah, this, you know, Dustin, I, I go back to the drawing board. You know, this isn't going to attract any. I guess, it. you know, it's got you these fake nine-year-olds, but I don't know, Dustin. I don't, I, Dustin, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that profile picture, Dustin. Dude, East Tennessee, he asks the girl if he could be her first at sex. What have you done with a guy? Nothing. Wow. So wow. I'd be your first at everything? Yeah. Uh, After he tells... So, it's, you know, it's been pointed out a ton. Um, you know, he... Obviously, any child having a sexual encounter with an adult is, like, disgusting. But, Dustin, yeah, that that would be a very, uh, very, very strange... For anybody, even with, like, an adult, if it was, like, you know, a, a woman who reached adulthood and, and was a virgin... Yeah, you know, Dustin, I don't know, Dustin, I don't know, I think I, Dustin seems like, you know, an advanced assignment, you know, an AP class for having sex, and again, I don't think he smells very good, just un unrelated again, it just got to The decoy about his disability, he moves on to talking about anal and... Lick your what? What a, what a tantalizing uh, little tease here by perverted justice, wow. <laughs> I guess they can't... You know, lick your blank. I guess they can't, you know, put that in the, in the, in the actual episode. To oral sex. He asks if he can shave her private parts and later okay. makes a rather bizarre request. Send me a pair of your panties. Pick a pair you want me to have and wear them for two or three days. Ugh. Okay, you know what? This is probably part of why I think he smells so bad. You know, he's cool with this. He's like, you. it's like that one guy. You didn't have to get take a shower. You know, he's disgusting, so he doesn't want his, uh, you know, his prey to be to be cleanly. You know, I think uh, Dustin, you know, he's attracted to used panties after two or three days. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. It'd be disgusting from anyone. Dustin, Dustin, you know, Dustin, you got some problems. I don't, I don't know about you, Dustin. Straight. For reals? Yeah. Yeah. He also asked, that was a pretty good yeah. That was almost as good as, uh, you know, Bay Jones, Brian Gosling. Yeah. That was pretty days good. Straight. For reals? Yeah. He all <laughs> and you know, you know that that's how Dustin said it. You know, type it away on his keyboard in his, his, uh, in his second room. Right? Yeah. That's how he said it. Also asks her if he can have a three way with the decoy and her sister. And he repeatedly asks the girl to marry him. When they so they don't say it in the episode. Everyone's pointed it out, but I'll, I'll point it out as well. Uh, the decoy sister was said to be eight years old. So, yeah. Make a plan to meet. He tells her he'll bring an electric razor. Why? PBI Commissioner David James watches on a monitor as McFetridge comes. Man, did you see that power stance? This guy, you know, in his uh, in his spare time, is he like a PE teacher? Jesus Christ, that's that's quite a stance there. Whatever your name was. PBI Commissioner David James watches David James. on a monitor as McFetridge comes into the house. When you first look at him and, and you see him, and and you could say that I, I felt a little bit sorry for him. A little bit and then you remember why we're here you know whether he has has cerebral palsy or not he still was there to molest a child and, and that that's what people like Dustin you know rely on right I well I'll touch on it later but like he is a predator and he pretends to be prey and he is very very practiced at it like, he has spent a lifetime getting away with some heinous shit, as he says in the Dudinsky interview. Um, you know, just by being pathetic. And it's it's really disgusting. And I think if you were to ask other people with cerebral palsy, you know, what do you think of a, of a person using that disability to their advantage, to take advantage of children? Yeah, I, universally. It'd be shit. I think everyone hates this guy. You know, nobody, no, like I said at the beginning, no one has any sympathy for for Dustin. Justin, take a step out, okay? And Pretty cool, right? There's no excuse for molesting a child. I don't care what it is. So what's up? Nothing. That was an interesting line. No excuse for molesting a child. I don't care what it is. So this was after the Lewis Conrad situation and the Murphy situation. You know, don't mess with Murphy. Those fucking idiots. 
So maybe maybe he felt compelled to kind of justify TCAP and and doing these 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 sort of stings a little bit there. You know, there's no justification for this. I don't care what it is, and him specifically being you know disabled um, or differently abled or whatever however you phrase it. Um, you know, maybe maybe there's a little fear of backlash there. It's interesting. So what's up? Nothing. Nothing. No. <laughs> Did you bring the razors? <laughs> yeah. So what did you... Yeah. Let's get that again. Nothing? No. <laughs> did you bring the razors? Yeah. So what did you want to do with them? I was kind of confused. I'll show you later. Oh, J uh, Dustin, don't be coy. Come on. You know, he's, he's trying to be cute. I'll show you later. No, show me now, asshole. Just tell me, please. I won't come here if you don't tell me. I thought you wanted to be shaved. Why? Why did he said all about that? Or he's, he was the only person bringing that up. It's, it's kind of the same thing with uh, Lauren Armstrong. When he comes in, he's like, not, not as nervous as you would be. He, like, he, he wants to give them thoughts. And similarly, they both ask, uh, you know, they both want to marry their prey. Weirdly enough, you know, they pull a Rolando Resta Cruz and they want to marry their prey. Down there. Is that what you wanted to do? Yeah, that's what you wanted to. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'd rather, like, talk about it first so I kind of know. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look at the hamster wheel spinning in the brain, the cogs. You know, I'm surprised. You know why he's wearing this headset? It's to stop the smoke from escaping his ears as he's processing this information. What? You want to you wanna talk? What's there to talk about? Isn't he going to say... What, what was you wanting to be talking about, sweetie? Or something like that. What, what are you wanting to talk about, sweetie? Well, like, tell me what I mean. What, what are you wanting to talk about, sweetie? Uh, shaving her vagina. How about that, you fucking idiot? The only thing that you've talked about so far. You came in, you sat in a chair, she said it was heated. You know, she doesn't want to chit-chat about the internal mechanism of heating the, your ass on a chair. Dumbass. She wants to talk about you saying that you want to shave her vagina. And bringing a razor to achieve that end. What was he wanting to be taught? What the fuck do you think, Dustin? Well, like, tell me what you're going to do, so I'm, like, kind of prepared. It's just easier to explain it as we go along before Okay, I'm... okay, 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 okay. That hand gesture needs to not happen. It's just easier to explain it as we go along before I do it. Sir. Well, like, what would you do first? I don't know. I'd like to hold you. Casey's pretty good there. You know, she kind of matches his energy. Well, I do it. Watch this. Well, like, what would you do first? What would you do oh, first? No, <laughs> like to hold you. And then what? And kiss you. That's why I'm, that's why I'm asking you to come over here. So yeah, that that passive aggressive shit. Um, again, it's it's a you know it's a uh, predator or prey. Wait, it's a predator acting like prey, right? Um, that's why I was wanting to get you to come over here, like implying. You know, I can't get over there and molest you. So, you know, help me out. Help help a, help a child sex predator out, Casey. You know? I was wanting you to come on over here. He wants to get what he wants. And Casey's going to have to do the work. You know, Casey, get off your ass and get over here and let me shave your vagina. Well, yeah, I understand that, but... Yeah, I won't force you to do anything. No, so no. So I'm a good guy. So I hate to be the bear that oh shit is great yeah i won't force you to do anything sweetheart so i hate to be the bearer of bad news well uh <laughs> look at that look at dustin oh dustin you know the the the, the tune has changed it's amazing it's uh, like i i know we haven't gotten into the hansen interview yet but the way that the hansen interview goes down is amazing and then it all happens again as soon as he gets arrested it's, it's so fantastic, but just when Hanson comes out, there's a little bit missing here. Um, we don't have the uncut, which, you know, I'd kill for. That'd be so fucking great. I wonder what they talked about uh, before Hanson came out. I wonder what it, exactly what was said the second before Hanson came out. But then he comes out, and again, Dustin, you know, his, his, uh, his gears are grinding in that brain of his, trying to put the pieces together. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, I well, I, I was not do nothing. You oh, okay. Do no. Why don't I, you tell me what your plan was tonight? Huh? Help me out. I didn't bring nothing with me. I didn't. Well, except for the razor 
and your vehicle to go get condoms. So uh, other than that, you didn't bring anything. Do nothing bad. And well, Dustin, I don't know about that. Uh, you definitely did something bad, and you did a crime. I like how a lot of these guys don't know that it's a crime to like solicit sex from a minor online, which I guess this was the early days of the internet. But he sent her, he sent somebody that he thought was a child, uh, porn. So, you know, Dustin, I, I don't know about that statement. I didn't do anything bad. I would never force nobody to do anything against their will, sir. But you did bring some things with you. I believe that, but he'd, he'd be passive aggressive as shit, right? Uh, that's why I was wanting you to come over here. Wow, look at Hanson. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hanson, you know, relax. This is, he just got done hitting a blunt. <laughs> His face is all red. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that Dustin would force anybody to do anything, but he, he'd be passive-aggressive and try and coerce them into doing things. Force nobody to do anything against their will, sir. Sir. But you did bring some things with you tonight. I, I brought a razor. A razor. Well, what were you going to do with the razor? I thought... Yeah, people do all sorts of things with razors, Hanson. I, you know, it's, it's hardly, it's hardly uh, uh, an issue we need to... We need to delve into. It's just, it's just a razor, you know? Fellas be bringing razors. What's your deal? She wanted to be shaved down there, and I thought she said she was 17 or something. Well, I've got the transcript right here. I, I believe that, sir. Yeah. Right. He was uh, nice try. Nice, nice try, Dustin. You know, I love it when the guys just have to uh, just have to give it a go, you know? It's pointless. It's pointless, but, uh, you know, I thought she said she was an adult, actually. You know, famous example, uh, Jerry Griffith, Jerry Griffith, whatever, whatever his real name is. Um, you know, Adriana 22. She was 20, she was Adriana years old. She said her name was 22. Just stick to that lie. Just stick to that absolute bullshit lie. Told online she was 13 and even referred to her young age several times, wishing she was five years older. And as for all... I wished you was 18. Bad English, Dustin. I'm taking points off of this uh, creative writing assignment that you've done here. I'm surprised nobody uses that <laughs> as an excuse. You know, I was just, I, it was fanfic. You know, it's, just, it's a creative writing assignment. All the explicit sex talk. I was trying to see if I could find out if mm -hmm. that was a cop or so I didn't waste well, it sounds like it, it, uh, well, that's I don't think that that's why you were trying to figure out if that was a cop. Man, fuck Hanson, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you know, Hanson, I. Oof. These are some interesting uh, screen grabs I'm getting of you. It sounds like what you're trying to see is if you could score with a 13 year old girl. No, score. Sir. I mean, have you chatted online with underage girls before? Did Hanson say score with anyone else? Um, I think he's going to hook up in another one, but, yeah, score. That's weird. It's some weird uh, vernacular coming from Hanson. Quite honestly, I had one no time before. Me. Okay. A young girl. Yeah. She, she says he was chatting with a 14-year-old girl, oh. and the girl's mother's boyfriend was a cop who found Ooh. out about it and wanted to press charges. It never went to trial. I... I apologized and everybody Did you apologize guilty or no contact we didn't. so i think that that's the japanese steakhouse story um he went somewhere on his birthday and someone showed up and he said i just want to have sex i thought she was uh, i thought she was 18 wanting to be shaved you know whatever whatever lie you could come up with or wait is that a different story because i think he says you know his mom got on the phone with this guy and, you know, she she kind of she kind of got him out of hot water, Dustin, you know, I'm so sorry. I thought I thought she said she was 18 and I just I, I just like to shave vaginas. What? Go to court. It was just over the phone and like, hey, I'm sorry. OK, this is why I said that. Uh, was, it, was it a scary situation to you? No. Yo. Did you learn your lesson? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what was that, Dustin? I said that. Uh, was it, was uh -huh. it a scary situation to you? Yo. Did you learn your lesson? Yo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it doesn't well, seem so tonight. And I didn't, like I said, I wouldn't do nothing bad. You say I That's a bit like, uh, you know, Kevin Molester back, right? You know, did, did you learn your lesson? I, I have learned my lesson. Well, obviously not. You know, he, he nearly got caught. It's amazing how many of these guys in the show have had, like, run-ins with the cops before about this exact sort of thing. 
And that still didn't deter them. It's fucking insane. I want to make love to you. Have you ever seen people have sex? Um, it's just then you send, her, you send her a picture of people having sex. I thought she asked for it. She asked for it. She didn't ask for it. You sent it to her. And even if she did, I mean, that's, you're not supposed to be sending stuff like that to somebody who says they're 13. That's but instead true. of taking responsibility, he tries to blame it all on the decoy. Okay, so the pity card didn't work. He really drove that home. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I thought she was 18. You know, trying to, uh, I'm, I'm actually innocent. It's not my fault. And then Hanson, oh, I got the I got the chat log. Okay, I, I just, I can't do anything. I, I know I don't want any trouble. You know, just the pity me card. That didn't work. Okay. One, one final, uh, one final strategy here, which is, you know, it's actually her fault. Let me, let me flip the script. It's actually her fault. I, I, she, she led me on a little bit too. She was wanting me to come up here and see her so bad, and I didn't so? want to disappoint her. Oh. You're a grown man. I know. What do you think should happen? Uh, to you? I know. Don't know. I don't. Well, I think I should just be allowed to apologize and go home. Get back to my wrestling DVDs. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to be young teens online for sex. <laughs> it's all wrong mm -hmm. in my part, but she led me on a little bit. Yeah, too, I mean, you know. And I understand both ways. I'm yeah, I, I understand both ways. Well, Dustin, unfortunately for you, the judge did not understand both ways, and you wound up doing, what, like five years in prison, so... You know, it, it's nice that you uh, were able to understand it from all sorts of sides, and you had the you know wherewithal and perspective to see things outside of yourself. But the judge thought otherwise, and so you did the time. It's it's that's that's great, Dustin. She she laid me out a little bit too. I mean, she's not driving the train here. You're the grown up. I know. How you get that right. Yeah, that's stupid on my part. Yeah. As he heads for the door, Dustin doesn't seem to know that officers from the Warren County Sheriff's Office are waiting to arrest him. This is my favorite part. Dustin, just take a step out, okay? Take a step out. Okay. And, oh, man. For the third time. Oh, what a mind fuck. You know, this guy's just going through all the steps. He, it's his brain. It just can't hand every new twist and turn. It's like watching a you know a, a great movie with a bunch of twists and turns. He just he can't keep up. Dustin's you know all over the place. Did you see him right there? He opens the door. There's pl there's place here. He said that I could leave. Tim. Dustin, just take a step out, okay? Take a step out. Ah, oh, he looked like one of those uh, gorillas from uh, Planet of the Apes, you know? Like when they're confused. This mouth open right there. Let's get that again. Dustin, just take a step out, okay? Take <laughs> you know what I mean? He looks like Caesar from uh, you know, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, you know? And he gets he gets thrown a curveball. He had that same look on his on his on his face. Step out, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because of his disability, officers are careful taking him into custody. And now we begin it again. Like I said at the beginning, um, you know, with Hanson, he starts, yeah, I, I can't, I can't do anything. I, I didn't want to cause any trouble. And now he's got to have 30 police officers help him out of the house. Like he didn't fucking walk into the house just fine previously. He's got to have every police officer on deck help him down the stairs. Bitch, getting up the stairs is more difficult than getting down them. You could walk down the stairs. You walked up into the, the house. Fucking idiot. I, I feel feel bad for me. I, I, I know I have to have this cane and people make fun of me. I really got to do that Didinsky interview soon. That's, that's fucking amazing. I thought they said I wasn't under arrest. No one said that. I wasn't hurt, little Bernie. While he's being booked. <laughs> he's so defiant. I mean, the thumbnail of this, I have his, uh... His car, sir. His mug shot. You know, and he is so pissed off. While he's being... He's so pissed off in this. Finally, I, you know, I truly believe this is the first time in his fucking life that he's being held accountable. I mean, his mom seems like a pushover. You know, giving him two rooms to jerk off in and, and like I said, play video games in. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have a job. I bet his wife I bet his wife divorcing him was the first real consequence he's ever had. He's still reeling from that. 
But I told her I I didn't mean to be going online and getting child pornography. I, that that was that were an accident. I told her that I didn't want to cheat on her with a nine year old. Why didn't she believe me? That was the first real consequence. And now this is number two, and he's gonna spend, you know, what 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 for eight years I guess in, in prison. Eight years in prison. Booked his car search. Braun electric razor. <laughs> Some uh, KY there it is. lubricant. Uh, that's I think that's a uh, hand sanitizer, Mister Mister Police Officer. And uh, you know, digital camera as well. Then he okay, so he had intents to to make CP as well, I believe. He's brought in for questioning, where he admits to bringing a razor and lubricant. What were you going to use it for? I guess. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what razors and lubricants are for? I don't know. Maybe I was going to invent a time machine, you know, out of those two components. Who knows? Dustin, come on. I, I hate these guys. You brought condoms. Lore, you brought condoms. Yeah, I know. Like, you can't spin that into anything else. Just say the answer. Or don't. Or just don't talk to Mr. John Dudinsky here at all. Was it in case you had sex with her? Yeah, but I was going to try not to. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all I need to know. <laughs> I love all the rest of it is great. I think this is like in the first 10 minutes of the of the interview. And it goes on for like 45 minutes, maybe longer. It might be over an hour, um, the Dustin McFetridge interview. And within the first 10, 15 minutes, um, you know, boom, congratulations, jail. Then he gets the evidence that his computer is just like fucking loaded with CSAM. <laughs> and Dustin's like, Yeah, I, I need to call my mom to have her delete that. And he's like, Well, that's not going to fucking happen. Six, if you hit it off with her. If we got along, you know, I yeah. thought it was a meaningful mm -hmm. relationship. You guys know those meaningful relationships that you have with nine year olds. You got, you know. Honestly, then, yeah. Again, he says he's not the only one to blame. The girl teased him into coming. That Cal, bitch. She called me today, you want me to come up here. Mm -hmm. Well, you were telling her you were her boyfriend, right? Uh, you wanted to marry her. After she's 18? Okay. If we got along. Oh, my God. And how does he explain the picture he sent? Because she said... This whole interview process is just like an exercise in, uh, you know, Dustin's improv training. And uh, spoiler alert, he's not very well versed in the art of improv. He can't think on his feet too quickly. It's just the gears spinning. And look at this fucking shirt. I don't know, Dustin. I'm not a fan. I don't like the, the striped polo that's, for some reason, off kilter constantly. She'd never seen a penis before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why does it? Why does a girl that age have to see one? Good question. I don't have no answer for that one. Oh, okay. He admits that he probably possesses child pornography. There's probably a few photos and a few videos. Yeah, probably. I mean, you know, I, who's to say? Really, at the end of the day, you know, one of the worst, uh, one of the worst things you could possibly have on your computer. You know, one of the worst crimes you could commit. I don't know. There might be. This reminds me of oh, fuck. Rob was it? Rob Klein who tried to blame bestiality porn on his computer on his younger sibling. Or who, who's that other guy who's like, I was having a party and people were on my computer. You know, I just, dude, are you fucking kidding me? There might be... T Dustin, Dust, Dustin, Dustin. I had download. Have you ever met anybody in any other chat rooms that you've had sex with? Yes. That's any bonkers. Any underage? No, sir. Dustin J he was married, and he's he's been hooking up with people. Who uh, XX Perfect Drug was it? You know, uh, uh, how how? Remember, where am I? Seven thirty six. Let's go back to. Uh, this, this is what he's using. He's getting married and laid using this picture. I mean, come on, really, ladies, ladies in Tennessee, you know, stop it. You're doing yourself a disservice. Fetridge. Later, he goes be And oh, <laughs> okay. Who are these guys again? <laughs> you, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember Sleepy Morgan Freeman. Of course, Sleepy Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and, and Goldilocks over here. And then Dustin. I See, some people say that this is just how his uh, prison attire fits him. I think he did this on purpose. 
as like a sympathy move. See, he's kind of holding on to his uh to his jumpsuit right here. What do you think the what do you think Sleepy Morgan Freeman had to say about Dustin? <laughs> what do you think what do you think Goldilocks was saying about Dustin <laughs> after the sentencing hearing? Yeah, but I, I yeah, I think I think this is a purposeful move. Again, he has a playbook, right? When he meets somebody new, he just runs through it again. Um, feel sympathetic towards me. I'm pitiful. I'm piteous, you know, as some would say. Um, feel bad for me and go easy on me. And then when that doesn't work, he does the whole, you know, well, it wasn't actually my fault. She did things too. For a judge where he enters a not guilty plea. Your bond will also be 50,000 cash. Can I be signed over to the custody of my mother? Fuck no. Are you fucking kidding? Can I be signed over? No. This is just like Lorne. Um, for, I, you know, most, most people here in the chat know Lorne pretty well. But if you're listening in the future and you're not, uh, you're not well versed in Lorne, this is the same as when Lorne was being uh, sentenced back to prison after probation violation. And he used that opportunity to request fewer restrictions you know, that now, Dustin, is not the time. You're being sentenced for your various crimes that they have very good evidence. Just admit that you're guilty. Take a plea deal. Fucking insane. I mean, it's, it's got to be a terrible plea deal, but it's better than whatever you actually got. I Maybe he wound up. I, I'll check his, uh, his To Catch a Predator wiki page here after this, but... Yeah, just so stupid, a not guilty plea. Unless you can't get a plea before, a plea deal before. I, I don't know how this works. I've never been arrested for driving a PT cruiser to meet a 13-year-old and have sex with her and her 8-year-old sister. So I, you know, I don't know. Dustin, you know, Dustin's got the inside track about how this works. No, sir. Okay. I'll see you Friday. She gets her vehicle back. I'll see no. you Friday at 9 a.m. Okay. You know that his mom was like, ask the judge if I can get my vehicle back. I guess she, she's from the South. Dustin, can you ask the judge if I can get my vehicle back? Mom, I'm dealing with a lot of shit right now. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but he's, you know, he's probably not gonna say. Can you come down here and bail me out? Actually, Dustin, I don't have the money. All right, so that's that's it for D Mac. Let's head over to his to catch a predator uh, wiki page, and whew, look at that picture. You know what's going on with the mouth? Got a I got a question or two about this mouth situation. I'm not, I'm not in love. I'm, I'm not in love with the kissy face on the on the sex offender registry uh, uh, picture. I think, you know, maybe put that away. Dustin, now's not the time, you know, to try and look sexy. Save that, save that for uh, your, save that for your profile picture. Oh, geez. There we go. So, wow. See, now that's the time. Now it's not the time. All right. Aliases, wrestling dude, East Tennessee. Oh, <laughs> his second alias. I don't know where that came from, but he's, he's got a second alias. Um, he's a supermarket employee, okay, born in 1980, so that would make him, what, 43 now? Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah, 43, right? Um, he's divorced, right, of course. Um... 300 and 5 foot 10 360 pounds i'm about 5 foot 10 and he's more than two of me like a lot well i'm about 155 so not 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 quite three times as many me but fuck that's dustin that's that's not good um, he reportedly asked for the decoy social security number, right? Because he wanted to be able to track her, um, wear a pair of panties nonstop for two or three days and send it to him. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, he spoke to um, other minors. Dustin acknowledged that he had a conversation with a 14-year-old girl and that the girl's mother. Yeah, we just saw that police interrogation. Of course, I'll go through that later. The aftermath and sentence. The Hawkins County Sheriff's Office was told that Dustin had admitted to having CP in his house, and on October 1st, 2007, so a few days after the sting, uh, ooh, I don't, I don't like that so much. They should have got there, should have got there quicker. Um, deputies searched his residence and discovered CDs, CDs, wow, with more than 100 uh, CP photos on them. 
Dustin was charged with traveling across state lines to engage in illicit sexual contact, a felony. His bail was set for 50K. Dustin requested during the hearing that he be placed in the custody of his mother. His request was denied. Who was the other guy who requested something like that? Was that Donald Morrison? Where he was like, uh, um, I don't know. I, I think Donald Morrison said something, something similar to that. Um, in 2008, Dustin was found guilty of the felony charges and was sentenced to five years in a fe- okay, so five years in a federal prison with lifetime supervised sex uh, offender registration. After serving his Kentucky prison term for two years, Dustin was tried and convicted in Tennessee on a felony offense of sexual ex- exploitation of a minor. The wheelchair-bound man appeared before Judge John Duggar in Hawkins County Circuit Court. Judge Duggar handed out an eight-year prison term, okay, so eight years, um, to be served concurrently with the five-year prison sentence he was already serving in Kentucky. Wait, Dustin also received a $500 fine. So who gives a fucking shit? $500 fine, that's completely unimportant. (laughs) Um, and was placed on community supervision for the rest of his life. After being released from prison in 2014, so, okay, so he served six years. Um, Dustin moved back to Sir Goinesville, okay, the following year. Um, yeah, okay, so Dustin went back to court, um, in 2020. Dustin was scheduled to be back in court February 2020 due to probation violations. So he failed his uh, registered sex offender class repeatedly because he wouldn't take accountability for it. And then he also uh, was in contact with minors somehow. So that was an issue. Let's see. Let's fast forward a little bit. Dustin was given yet another continuance September 2021 because his family had paid... What? Uh, because his family had paid vacation plans. Okay. Recent photos to the Justin uses a wheelchair um, during uh, examination of his counselor. He revealed that Dustin has spent the most time of any offender in the program because he either refuses to own his own actions that led him to that point or makes excuses on why he can't make positive changes in his life. Sound like someone else y- you might know? Um, Dustin also gained the ire of his peers and his classes because they believed his rehabilitation to be a waste of time, time that could be better spent or better invested in their recovery. So, yeah, um, (laughs) during the, I think, I think I know what this is. During the interim, Dustin sent a letter, the judge involved, a letter, the judge, I think a letter to the judge involved in the case to be taken off of probation. So again, like Lauren, he wants to be rewarded for failing. Um, doesn't quite work like that. Citing brain damage he supposedly incurred in 2017 from falling headfirst into a table and promising he would go to prison for the le- for the rest of his life if he was charged with another sex offense and, and using... And and using having a supposed girlfriend as being sex offender treatment. Okay. <laughs> okay, who would date Dustin? Like, oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on with these women? Um, he also asked to have his probation from the internet to be relaxed in order to learn skills to become a productive member of society and to make enough money to afford sex offender treatment as well as lower his cost of living. Does he live with his mom? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll press on. I'll press on a little bit. Um, Dustin broke his probation when he was caught talking to a group of teenagers in a video game store and was brought back into court once again. This is a 2022 update. Um, he once again wrote a letter to the judge in March of 2022 complaining about his treatment and therapy, saying that he should be getting one-on-one therapy sessions. Again, just like Lorne. Jesus fucking Christ. They're the same person uh, instead of group therapy. He also mentions that he is out of money. Who cares? That's unrelated to your sex offender rehab shit. He concludes uh, the heartfelt letter with, If I could access a gun, I'd end my suffering and kill myself. This clearly bothered the judge. The outcome of the court hearing was that, although Dustin will not have to go back to prison, he must remain under court-supervised parole for the rest of his life along with his lifetime registered sex offender status. Chris Hansen found... Yeah, I remember this. I, I listened to this podcast episode. Chris Hansen found Dustin's phone number and gave him a call. Dustin answered the phone, and upon hearing Chris's voice, he exclaimed, Don't call me! And hung up the phone. 
Chris calls Dustin a second time, with Dustin threatening Chris by saying, No, thank you. Do not call me again or it will be harassment. No further calls were made. Okay, so hopefully he'll be thrown back in jail relatively soon. Um, yeah, here's a picture of him relatively recently at a wrestling match of some kind. Um, but yeah, all right. Thankfully, you know, this guy didn't get away with it. He got fucked over pretty good. Oh, look at that. Well, that is one sad boy. You know, <laughs> Dustin's, Dustin's not, uh, not having the best day right there. All right, so that'll do it for Dustin McFetridge. Um, I'll be back next uh, Tuesday, probably, at around the same time. Uh, I think I'm going to do... Who did I have set up? Uh, Jesse Velez, I think. I really like Jesse Velez. So I will see you guys uh, in that video. And if you have any um, if you have any Predators that you'd like me to cover, you know, in the, in the nearish future, uh, leave those in the comments. All right.